cares? You might have it, I don't have it because I'm an animal. I'm a wild animal, I don't care. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna check out Sepp Alex with his video Why Vegans Suffer More With Mental Health. Oh, you don't say. Let's have a look. Hi everyone, hope you're doing Hi. well. Step here. For those of you who don't know me, I make animal rights and veganism related content. Soy voice check. Every single week. And today I want to talk about this concept, this question that's been going around of whether or not vegans are happier or meat eaters and non-vegans are happier. You look very happy. Now I've been seeing this subject come up quite often during the past four or five years and there's quite a few things that I want to address. It's interesting that he mentions the past four or five years because in the past four to five years we had a major major dropout of vegans turning into ex-vegans. Those ex-vegans then reported on the mental illness that veganism is. The first one being the study that recently came out, let's say the most recent one that I'm aware of, that covers this topic. And that study is called Meat and Mental Health, a meta-analysis of meat consumption, depression and anxiety. Now this study's conclusion was that actually vegans are not happier. And not only that, they made a very strict conclusion. In which vegans need studies for everything. Why don't you just look into the mirror? Just ask yourself, are you truly happy? Show me the studies. Am I happy? Our results show that meat abstention, wow. vegetarianism or veganism is clearly associated with poorer mental health, specifically higher levels of oh, both depression and anxiety. Now, if you take this at face value, you would be worried, right? Like, why is this study saying this? Why did they conclude this? Again, why would you be worried about what the study says. Look at prominent vegan YouTubers. Most of them are on antidepressants, but they still don't figure out that it is veganism. We're actually saying the opposite. So we have to ask ourselves, what is specific about this study that we could look into? And one of the most important things that you should look into is the conflict of interest when it comes to the study. The people behind it, who were wow. they paid by? And when it comes to the disclosure statement... Honestly, before veganism, during veganism, after veganism, man, there was maybe a handful of people that I met that were somewhat happy on a vegan diet. Most vegans, myself included, admitted to have terrible mental health. And that is obvious because you are malnourishing yourself. Done it. Have previously wow. received funding from the beef checkoff through the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. <laughs> you cannot be more industry funded than this. And if you look into the funding in additional information, it says that this study was funded in part via an unrestricted research grant from the uh. beef checkoff through the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Fantastic! This study has been funded. Congratulations! Sherlock Holmes, you figured it out, but how about the vegan science? You can see that even hardcore vegans don't accept the narrative of a Coldwell Esselstyn or a Dr. Gregor from nutritionfacts.org. So in the end, I'm repeating myself, you can sit in front of your computer and analyze study after study after study. It doesn't matter. The question is, are you happy? If not, what to do about it. Of the study had normal in study design data collection, data analysis, data interpretation, or writing the report. Now we have to keep in mind that just because they weren't involved in preparing the, the method and everything doesn't mean that them giving the money didn't play a part. Because we have to remember that when you're funding scientists, most of the time you expect them to do something specific. And if you sit down and decide, okay, I want to make a study that concludes this, you can find the scientists who will do that for you. A very, very clear example of this was when the egg industry funded a few. Yeah, really, really clear example of this is the current situation studies. And what they did was they wanted to show that eating and consuming eggs doesn't really affect your cholesterol levels. And one thing we know in biology and science is that if you already have, um, let's say, more than average cholesterol level, if you eat more eggs. Uh, or man, what do you know about biology and science? You're not even eating your species specific specific diet. Do you even species specific diet, bro? Yeah. If you really believe in science, in biology, evolution and all that stuff, why don't you simply look into the human physiology and see what we are meant 
to eat. Plants. Anything that has a lot of cholesterol, it will not go higher. There won't be any spike. So if you're not eating anything with cholesterol and then let's say every three or four weeks you eat eggs, there's gonna be spike. So what they did for the uh. study is they brought people who already have a high level and then they fed them more eggs and they were like, oh look, there's no spike. Therefore, consuming eggs does not uh, have an impact on the cholesterol levels in your body. And of course they wanna do that because having a high cholesterol is not something healthy. And this is just an example is not something healthy because who funded cholesterol studies ever looked into the pharmaceutical complex that is pushing statins no why bother of how industry funded research most of the time can give you the result that the industry was looking for in the first place now let's put this subject aside and let's actually talk about the subject are vegans happier or is it normal to not be happy if you're vegan well <laughs> i would say that in general you would feel better physically because of what you're putting in your body you know and at the sure. end you are what you eat and if you're eating exactly you're a vegetable eating things that are not good for your body if you're eating things that are not good for your digestive system and um, your overall health in general you are going to be feeling better but we do know that a lot of animal rights activists vegan activists do suffer from anxiety and depression man stop it it's not only animal rights activists it's your everyday vegan they're cranky they're hangry we definitely clash a lot more than other people and I think that's because we have seen and experienced and witnessed so much that we let it out on each other and sometimes we keep it to ourselves and we don't really uh, seek therapy we don't take breaks uh, we don't look after ourselves and that you should definitely seek therapy bro can result in your mental health declining and this is something that I believe is very normal of course we're not gonna be happy it's very normal to get mental health problems over animals than the people who okay. are living in ignorance who don't know what's going on in these farms who haven't been in slaughterhouse kill floor who haven't but i do know what is going on i've been in slaughterhouses i've been on farms i eat meat every day and I feel great. Been in farms oh, with hundreds of thousands of chickens locked up in cages, suffering day after day, week week after week, month after month, only to end up on trucks and then be taken to a slaughterhouse. Of course, you're gonna be happier if you don't think about these things. And of course, you're gonna be happier if you don't hear all the, sorry for the language, but bullshit ex But why don't you think about all the atrocities that are happening in nature every single day? You don't because it doesn't fit your emotional narrative uses people give to not go vegan you know of course you're gonna be happier <laughs> if when you show someone slaughterhouse footage you don't hear them saying oh but plants have feelings when you know very well they don't believe plants have feelings they're just looking for stupid excuses to justify their exploitation and murder of other animals of course you're gonna be happier when you don't have to share all the information of what's going on just to be given you're so in denial it's not even funny how do you explain ex-vegans? Myself, I was a vegan for four years straight. An ethical vegan, believe it or not. But I know firsthand ex-vegans of 10 years and longer. Ethical vegans. Yet again, they went through the whole conditioning. They saw all the movies, Dominion, Earthlings and whatnot, but had to quit in the end because their health failed. After quitting veganism, they reclaimed their health and they reclaimed their sanity. They became happy people again. This look Explain. and go like, oh, why are you pushing your views on me? Or just to be told, oh, but I love the taste of cheese when you know that baby calves are taken away from their mothers and then their mothers <laughs> are exploited for their milk and sent to a slaughterhouse. Of course, you're going to be happier if you don't have to stand outside slaughterhouses just to record what's happening to pigs. And you have to stand outside. <laughs> and how they're taken inside uh, gas chambers. It's been forced just to be killed and then be sold as humanely slaughtered to end up showing that footage to your friends and loved ones and hear more excuses so i think on one hand this study is complete bullshit but i also think that even if it wasn't even if this was not an industry funded study <laughs> and even if <laughs> you are super happy it had the conclusion that it has i think it's normal that vegans are not happier but i would say go. vegans i would say activists people mm. who but you're wrong as i said plenty of vegans out there plenty of ex-vegans 
especially that are testimony to that vegans are mentally ill experience and witness and go through the frustration that we go through you too also on a daily basis when we're communicating with others you know everywhere you look you see injustice around you once you go vegan and become active every single place you go when you see the leather seats when you see people biting into their sandwiches acting like what they're doing is completely fine because it is completely fine eventually affects you because you are a human being who cares who values life who values morality and ethics so that's sure if you value life so much why are you vegan then vegans on average kill more animals than a carnivore but yet again you're gonna scream crop deaths though being ignorant of what is really happening when you're eating plants but i want to talk about you know if you're not vegan you might not understand why it's so difficult you know but if you go vegan you would actually understand that if you respect life once you make that connection i respect life and first and foremost i have to respect my life and my family's life and hence i have to feed them and realize that yes even though other animals are different to us they're not really different in ways that have any moral weight you know yeah just because they look different or i can't hear this anymore we are just animals and we're not so different if we are just animals we can eat other animals your argument is being used against you who cares? You might have it. I don't have it because I'm an animal. I'm a wild animal. I don't care. I can do whatever I want. If we are all animals, nature's law applies every single time, man. Completely delusional. If vegans would actually make the argument that there are humans that want to take care of animals and they have moral agency and ethics because they are humans, that would be a much stronger point. Or have a different way of living or different skin or fur or whatever. It doesn't really justify doing what we're doing to them. And once you have that change in your- Yeah, but this is exactly what is happening in nature. Why is the lion eating the gazelle? Because the gazelle is different from the lion. Why is the crocodile eating the fish? Because the fish is different from the crocodile. Do you get that? No. Your life and you start seeing them and valuing their life. It's going to be difficult being in a society that is not vegan. Not only not vegan, but also very charged against vegan and veganism and we it's not only society even if you go out and you check tribal people or you go into the wilderness you will see always the same pattern life eats life we know as a yeah. fact that the only group that is more discriminated against and ha has more hate than vegans are people who depend on drugs that's how much vegans are hated so yeah <laughs> i think it's very fair to even even if the study was not funded by the industry to realize that to me it's hilarious to see how much this concerns him because internally he already knows that the study is true no matter who funded it you are mentally ill yeah vegans or vegans that's activists it. are not as happy. And that's not an insult, by the way. Every vegan is mentally ill. I was mentally ill as well. As long as you are malnourishing yourself, you cannot function. Your brain doesn't work. What I want to ask you all, if especially if you're a vegan or a vegan activist, is to take care of yourself. You know, find the, the <laughs> few things that make you feel better. Find the few things that make you feel more calm. Um, makes your anxiety go away. You know, personal. It's a messiah complex, essentially. They're sacrificing themselves for our sins. It's very important to take breaks. It's very important to take care of your Mental health. Keep in mind if you're an activist that when it comes to activism, it's not a sprint. We're not going to be able to make the world go vegan and become anti speciesist in a matter of weeks or even years. This is something that might very probably take decades. So it's not a sprint, it's a marathon. Man, it's going to take a few years until you become an ex vegan like all the rest. And the animals need you long term. And for you to be uh, doing this long term, you have to take care of yourself. So take care of yourself and your mental health for your sake, for the animal's sake, and for the movement's sake. That's all I want to share with you today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. All right, leave a All right, guys. And this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. As always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.